into the game here. We're going to play on Cash, which is one of Envy's strongest maps. They're playing LGB, who have shown a lot of spirit, and um, we'll see if they can keep going. They're going to start on less favorite side here on the terrorist side, although some teams seem to be just faring remarkably well playing terrorist side Cash sometimes. That's very true. And a bit of a stack going on towards A, actually. Three people already from Envy expecting maybe some sort of push going on, but it looks like LGB are really content with uh, scouting out. And they've already got some information in the middle. They've got a flash, and they can set it up for a pop flash around this corner right now. That's probably what Polly's going to be doing. There it is. All three members go running around the corner very quickly, and now Happy, in position, misses the shot. The crucial shot. If he could have picked up one headshot there, that would have been big. But now, flash goes in, smoke goes down a block off CT, and LGB have control of the bomb site. Impossible for Smith to go charging through here. It's way too dangerous. And this is just a perfect scenario here. Sick nade onto Jacob, though. That's so good. But... It's so tough now to get into this B side. It's so constricted in here. Yeah, it really is. They've also lost that kit somewhere. I'm not sure if it's the corner where Happy was, but either way, it's going to be MBK going down next. Shoxi trying to find an opening. Good headshot. Kiyoshima as well. But PRB returns and Polly is there as well. And it's going to be up to Kiyoshima trying to run away here with uh, not a lot of a chance either. We'll go down to Polly. Nice headshot there. And LGB are going to win the round somewhat convincingly. That one kill in the corner, that just set up the whole thing. And even though that grenade did do a lot of damage, was it a 90 damage grenade coming out of that there? I think it was. That was actually uh, just a ridiculous nade right in Jacob's face as well. So, I mean, LGB, they managed just a part, like everything works out perfectly. And basically, Happy in that position, he's very, he's lined up to just try and get that headshot, but he misses it. He's, he's caught asleep when he needs to basically just land that shot outright and at least pick up one kill in that scenario. He gets none. And they're just able to speed, up, to speed up behind that because the next man in line was Smiths and he was playing rotator and connector. So he was just not able to have any kind of impact at all. Mystic already off to a strong start taking out Smiths this round. And it's looking like everything under control here for LGB, at least this far. Although Shoxy holding up that close is a real threat. Happy gets caught trying to wrap around and Shoxy coming in. Is now Jacob going up from behind. P9 in hand, running and gunning and spraying for a long time. It has 50 bullets after all. And Jacob will get a double kill with the P90. So a pretty good job at the end there. And did not actually anyone dying on LGB for that round. That's pretty impressive. Oh, no. It's not a Katamari Mario. It's a Tanuki Mario. No, no. Let's get that right. Sorry. <laughs> In Katamari case. is like a totally different game, actually. So. Okay, in case anyone out there was uh, confused. <laughs> those, are the, those are those good those good memories you got, you know? Oh, fun times. All right, well, this is just this should be like a straight-up Beagle Stomp. Polly with the MAC-10 leading, charging. Shoxi lying in the cut with the Beagle. Managed to pick up the headshot on Polly. Kiyoshima with the backstab, and that's three kills. LGB go barreling onto the site and just get completely wiped out. It's all up to Mystic now. 1v2. There is still inside the bomb site waiting. It's gonna be Kiyoshima. Mystic trying to play this one smartly. Really, really wants someone to peek him. Be the best case if he could just uh, make it a 1v1. Molotov into the corner. It's not a bad idea. Actually, it fails a little bit, but either way, it wouldn't have worked, obviously, because Kiyoshima is on the other side. He is ready and waiting. 50 seconds is a lot of time. He could actually play this really far out and just run all the way around if he wanted to. So happy just letting them know. Kishima's literally sitting on top of this site, and it works out perfectly, that angle. And are you kidding me? It's actually happy to pick up that kill. So Kishima wow. does the work with the P90, gets up in the cut like that right there, holding that angle so that if he looks left, he's a dead man for sure, and it's happy through the smoke from CT to get the kill with the USP. Right. Great job on Envy, and, and I think um, probably LGB putting more pressure on themselves than they needed to. You can tell that they sort of wanted to really rush that bomb site, but once they got those entry fangs, they could have just slowed down a tiny bit and, you know, sort of re canvassed the site and said, is it, is it worth it for us to keep going? I mean, they knew Shox was there with Deagle. Always a big risk to keep pushing at that headshot um, grave there, because you can, you can just get killed really quickly, with, especially with a Deagle like that. This time it's going to be a push for uh, the A-bomb sign, and this should be hugely successful. It's going to be hard for anybody to hold this down. Happy has to come up with pretty much an instant headshot here. Now the grenades are raining in. He's spraying down. He gets a double, actually, so this is near perfect perfection. And MBK drops one. Happy keeps going for the triple. Nice and solid hold coming out from MBK and Happy. Oh, that was fantastic work. Good surprise there that Happy was able to pick up that third one. Now Rubino, once again, all by his lonesome, and he's going to get pinned down behind quad boxes. Smith to drop that kill. 
And that is going to be Alpha Happy. And, you know, there you go, Anders. You know, you ask for Happy to deliver, and guess what? You know, he gets a double spray down. Pretty much perfection right there to start things off. It doesn't get much better than this. Holding from this position, the fact that he's able to just tag them both up, slow them down, and then drop down for the third one like this. Once again, Happy just coming through. Yeah, really, uh, really big opening kills there. And a little bit surprised, LGB have been pretty good at pre-aiming a lot of the spots that have that Envy have been using. So especially in overpass, they were really on point with doing that. And that is a fairly common spot still. So I would say that they should have really realized that. Grenade rains on in. And oh, what a grenade! Four people tagged by it. Happy is ready to pick up the remaining kills here. Gets a triple spray. Pistols out for the quad. And Smiths will steal the ace away. But that was all happy. That's a tremendous amount of damage in one round. Yeah, that is a sick nade. And then without Kevlar as well to mitigate. And he just nailed it right there. Uh, this is the follow-up as well with the spray read through. He knows exactly where the remaining members are behind Forklift. And he gets the job done. So very solid play so far. I mean, basically just been the happy show. And you're right as well, you know, saying that that's usually, um, that's now a bit of a spot that you need to keep an eye open for. Yeah. Especially for Happy, because Happy likes to get boosted up over there. He was the one who used to do the jump as well. And now he's just got NBK helping him out. So, I mean, we'll see. LGB, I mean, this is very much, you know, the beginning of the half here. Just now getting into the mid, so plenty of opportunity left for LGB to get through. And get the rounds that they need on this T side. But, you know, common, it seems, you know, that this is now shaping up to be more of a T, round, a T map, or at least we expect more rounds from the T side. So LGB, they have a lot of work ahead of them here. They do. They've already lost two people. Jake Kim and Mystic already gone. Envy is just put into a comfortable position. If they can start winning rounds where they don't really lose anybody on the French side here, Unlike on Inferno, where they, I mean, they took nine in a row, but they almost lost all of those nine rounds. It was down to a 1v1 or 1v2. So if they can change that on cash, it's going to be significantly more difficult for LGB to make a breakthrough. Really impressed, impressed with Rubino's play tonight individually. I mean, he, like, the first map, he did tremendous work, but um, right there, that was a sick duel to win versus Shoxi, especially when Shoxi got the drop on him. It's those kinds of kills that need to come through here for LGB because they're still a man down. And what was that swap by Keo? Maybe a misclick there, but he went to the knife when he needed to have the AK, and he's going to get overrun. Now it's Smith holding all by his lonesome on this side. He managed to get the spray down on the Bomb Planter, though. Doesn't win the duel, however, versus PRB, and with eight seconds left, that would have been a critical kill. Yeah, that could have definitely sealed the deal. Bomb will go down, but they are so low on health. No HE grenade on Envy currently, but MBK picks up one, and... Ah, PRB trapped behind here should be no problem at all. And indeed, NBK will pick up the double and run for the defuse as well. That was, um, yeah, that was a bit of an interesting move by Hiroshima. Probably a mistake. You have to imagine that was a bit of a, of a slip there. Uh, I really like the positional play for Smith, though. The way he used the audio and just, like, moved around the box, making sure they actually couldn't spot him easily. Um, pretty much secured the round, I think. That was, like, the winning move. Just him getting the one kill was enough. Mm-hmm. All right, getting the one and doing tr like just very <clears throat> solid damage to the second man as well. Right, coming close, but still, I mean, that was a bit more of a decisive win. Polly decides to stop. Okay, no, he's going to keep moving. Kind of stuck over there. He's spawn. PRB is going to wrap back around to make sure that B halls can't get invaded by Envy. And instead, it's going to be mid getting uh, getting taken over by Envy. They go again for that mid control with Kyushima up and Vents as well. Grenade timing, just a little bit too early. Scary for a moment, though. And MVK will go down. Happy to fall as well. Rubino just opening up. They may have lost Polly. He got disconnected, apparently, but um, still, they're a man up. And the bomb goes down. Coming in from main. Shocks tries to find the opening. He will take down Rubino. Now, still has a little bit more work to do. 3v3. And the rotation is far away. Smith just really took a long time to get in here. Unfortunately for Shoxi, he's getting caught out just at the worst possible time. PRB to take him out. Jacob waiting for Smith to rotate through. Picks him off, and Jacob gets the remaining kill on Kiyoshima. Polly joining back up just at the end of the round. So he's like, guys, did you need me? No? Okay, that's cool. All good. Yeah. Can go uh, go uh, grab some minced meat. Build a hamburger. Oh, yeah, there's always... You don't need Joel's excuse. reference right there. Yeah, I was about to say, like... No. Oh. <laughs> Joel's... Joel's actually qualified for this tournament. We're just going to say that, you know. Joel's is back. <laughs> Joel's is back. <laughs> Midst meat and all. I'm glad Joel's is back. Um, yeah, you know what they call, you know what they call a hamburger in, uh, 
like at least the, the patty in, uh, in oh. Sweden. I was expecting some kind of uh, Pulp Fiction reference, but okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I see. I could have gone that way as well. Uh, Pan Beef is the, is the name. You should know this. You've been Pan Beef? Yeah. I just yeah. know it is shut, man. Everything is shut. Meat, 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 <laughs> and more meat. Like, <laughs> give me the meat. Well, I mean, a hamburger meat, dude. Come give, on. Give you the meat. Somewhere. Get out. Get out. It's the hamburger meat, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> Dirty thoughts. Get your mind out of the gutter, Anders. Come on, man. Oh, God, no. Don't go back to the camera. This is awful. <laughs> I've uh, sorted out the issue, more or less at least. In the meantime, we've tried to fire assembler, but you can see he's walking back to the studio anyway, so that didn't work. It is going to be... Oh, I'm not sure if they're actually trying to replay or recreate this round or if they've already done that. Either way, it's 4-3 at the moment, and they seem to be playing this out fairly regularly, so the game seems to be just live right now. Jacob already dropping quite low, but finishes off Kiyoshima anyway. Seems to have been a halfway running headshot then. Now, they're going to be careful because Shox is coming up close. He's actually walking into a crossfire. Shox going to get the one kill. He should be returned upon here, but still coming out with a decent trade is Shoxy. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not able to get in there fast enough to save his teammate. So that'll be NBK down, but good response there by LGB to try and shut down NB's mid control play. You know that NB wants to get control of mid on cash most of the time, so LGB taking that into account and basically going for the ante. But this time around, it's still going to be a three on three, so this is going to favor LGB. And LGB trying to take advantage of this, gathering up all three of them in the B halls. They're looking to go onto this site, and they get the perfect entry frag onto Smiths. Yeah, great job on Rubino, who's been playing so well um, this whole best of three. Crouched in underneath what would have been the headshot height for him, so he would have walked right into that instant death there. Instead, he sort of crouched right under it. Now, the bomb is going to go down inside the bomb site, plant it for the main entrance here. Shocks, he's going to pick up now the third kill of the round for himself and could go for a little bit more grenade. That does a lot of damage and actually tags him up as well. They're happy missing what should have been an easy kill, and that could cost them the round right here. LGB. They haven't had much luck since the pistol, but now they're going to get it. Mystic opening up on the one. Oh, the shot through. Happy hits it. Doesn't get the follow-up. That would have been beautiful. But... That would have been dead on. Oh, man. Well, I mean, if it had been a headshot through, that would have been incredible. Mystic, uh, 24 health after that one. And the bomb is going to go up. So LGB, bring it back to 4-4. Putting us into the ninth round. Counting his lucky stars after that one right there, man. Yeah, that was close. But shoxy has got to be so frustrated having headshot basically taking a nade to the face meant him contesting Mystic and Checkered was going to be so difficult for him to do. And yeah. Happy with a very uncharacteristic miss, like just completely falling asleep at the... Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. There. That was really weird. He oh, could have just really waited. Awkward. It was a really good angle as well from Happy. It was a really nice idea, but never really brought to fruition. Waiting for the fire that's burning right up uh, on there, or right on top of them to go away. They must have heard the vents boosted out or broken there, so they should probably know exactly where to look as well. Good angle to look for a headshot. There is one AWP, one scout in play on the other team, and that's one click from Jacob. Can he hit another one? He definitely knows those vents are gone, so he's checking all over the place. And that's Smith's having moved up there this time around, so they know. And they're going to have to take that into account now that they've taken over B Halls. There's two guys holding in Checkered, however, so this could get a little awkward. There's the Molotov, though, to force Smith out into the open. He's going to drop right into the waiting arms, but he still gets the headshot. And now he's got the AK as well to play with. Looks for another one and gets it, too. There's another one. And now Smith's a third headshot. What is happening? LGB, they're falling apart at the seams. Happy is here to support everybody having rotated in now from Envy. All that fire just angered him. Just made him really mad. Now the grenade without the armor, it does a tremendous amount of damage. And the Molotov is going to finish him. Oh no, what a way to end a beautiful triple kill. Grenade out, going to be too soon as well. 25 seconds left. And LGB decide to make a run for it. But guess what? MBK is here with the scout. Especially on MBK. You can't really underestimate him. And he's already running into position. He knows this. He's tried it so many times before. Oh, I love how they're drawing his attention mid, but he hears the nades coming in through A main. Now he's in position. Ten seconds left. Nine seconds. If he just hides behind these boxes, they may not check in time. He's going to miss the shot, but goes for the defuse. Well, goes to deny the plant, still rather. The round. And he's still, yeah, he pulls him off of the bomb just long enough. That, okay, so it's really, really hard to fault LGB for losing that round entirely. But the thing is, the, the play to go for there is actually just to stick the defuse, even though it feels so bad to do it because you think you're going to get killed and maybe you will be. But um, let's see. Oh, actually, this is Smith's. This is really beautiful. Could This could almost be a candidate for, like, play of the day as well. I agree. Uh, definitely a really solid uh, triple there. 
I mean, LGB walking in a bit alone could have probably tried to group up a bit, but I mean, they knew they were against the guy who only just stole that AK. They probably felt like, come on, any second now, he's going to be really re reloading. We'll be good to go. Shocks goes down. Jake was really good in the middle there. Yeah, he's hitting those shots right now. Another one. And now Kiyoshima turns away from the flash, sees it coming a mile away. So he's holding up close, and they have to keep this into account, LGB. They have to know that Kiyoshima does love to get right below the boxes, right next to the main entrance to Garage. You still have NBK, and basically NBK corner, which is what a lot of players are actually calling that corner now. Yeah, it is. So it's just, uh, he's going to be holding there, just taking his time. And now they start to go for the mind games as well. Kiyoshima busting the vent, not going into it. So that's going to cost more time to LGB because they're going to have to worry about that man now. Is there somebody up there? Isn't there? We have to take that into account. It's not going to over, it's not going to take over anything here overall as far as the, uh, the strategy is concerned because they're going to A. Pretty good counter flash coming out as well. MBK will pick up the one, trying to reload in this corner, and they're going to hunt him down. Mystic to pick up the kill. Kiyoshima falls and happy missing more shots here that he probably normally wouldn't. I'm not really sure what's uh, going on, but either way, this is going to cost them daily. Jacob just comes strolling in and lands a third headshot of the round for himself, leaving Smiths all alone. Those missed shots from Happy really are hurting them a lot. Yeah, actually, I mean, that's twice now that he's missed pretty dead on easy shots. A very, very uncharacteristic for the French in game leader. Now Smith has been spotted. He'll be able to pick off Jacob, so no luck there for Jacob. He should be able to hold on to this AWP. Don't think that LGB are going to be able to close in on him quickly enough if they'll have the time here. Mystic definitely wants to try and make a, take a crack at it, but... Oh, he's hiding in there. That's the really dangerous place to hide, by the way, because of the wall bank potential for the other side. But no one is going to try it, and Smiths will be safe and sound. LGB, though, bringing it up to 5-5 five, five and forcing pretty much... Everyone, I mean, Happy could buy, uh, but this, I think, would be... I would consider this a huge risk if Envy forced up here. I know I said earlier that they're the team to do it, but I feel like this is a different position. Yeah, and I actually like where Happy is going with this, although, as I, as I say that, it, he isn't dropping a P250 for NBK. Instead, he just elects to invest in a 5.7 for himself. NBK spends his own money on that P250, and Shocks he does as well, so... And Kiyoshima could have probably dropped <laughs> something as well, but they're not feeling it. And this actually should play out. I mean, look at this. It's the stack on the A site now for NB. So Happy holding on the site itself. Molotov's going down. NBK able to pick up the first man. He's going to be able to draw the attention to himself. Smith manages to bring the op to bear. Now man advantage now for NB. Happy holding onto an AK on the site itself. PRB takes out NBK. But there it is. Happy gets the first man. Rushes around and nearly takes out the second. Polly lives with one HP. Uh, Kiyoshima in a really tough spot. More Now more than ever, you kind of wish you'd had a 5-7 or a P250 here to lose 1v2 with, because it's going to get really rough now. Trying to come up speedway, and they already see it coming. PRB sort of just taking a quick look. Kiyoshima, though, he's actually going to get allowed to get really close to the bomb site. This could really help him out if he can find PRB with just a quick one dink here. It might work out. He's got the AK now, so he does have a tool. Goes for a jumping shot, and he's trying to wall bang him. Oh, he's so close. Not going to be able to pick up any of them here. He's looking for the jump. He just can't get it done. These guys are invulnerable. They're just dodging bullets left and right. He hits the headshot, gets the double kill, but it's too late. No kit. Doesn't matter if you want to hold on to that op. It's not going to happen this time, Kiyoshima. It was such a beautiful end as well. Those those cleans were kill. Oh, those uh, yeah, those kills were really clean at the end there. And then still, that wasn't uh, obviously anywhere near enough. But he did succeed in bringing all of them down at the end. So a lot of. Uh, Money being wasted on the LGB sign there. This is just beautiful. Really solid play. Finally hunts down Polly. I mean, one HP on Polly. Happy came so close to yet another clutch play. Just don't give the AWP to Happy anymore. Just let him, ro let him rock the rifle because he's doing more damage with it. Yeah, it seems so. Got to be careful as well. They don't give up too many kills in the middle to Jacob, who's been opening up the a couple of rounds already for LGB. This time it's Mystic. Good spray down on MBK. And oh, actually, that was happy, but MBK falls next. Headshot there and Mystic. Look at this. It's what I said early on. This is the map where Mystic went nuts last time they played it. And um, maybe it's just his home, home turf here. He's feeling super comfortable, it seems. Yeah, that's just incredible. Single-handedly clearing everything up there. And all of them headshots to boot, so... Mystic clearly on point. And now, yeah, Envy... There isn't really much they can do on this B site. Smith and Kiyoshima are the last two guys here, and they definitely have to just try and hold on to the gun because they've invested everything they had in this round. So, life's getting a little awkward here for LG... I mean, well, for Envy. LGB, I mean, they're going to get up to seven rounds on their T side. And, again, this kind of plays into what, uh, what the general consensus has been, that... Uh, 
ugly spray there by Kyo. He's not going to make that work. This is kind of playing into the general consensus that, you know, we expect T-Side now to be picking up more rounds in a half. They're going to get up to seven. They have a strong chance of getting up to eight rounds here, LGB. It's looking very good for them. Yeah, it's quite impressive, really. Um, Envy, they, are, they must be a little bit shook. I, it feels like... It feels like they were playing better before the pause, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure. I mean, hard to blame the pause. I mean, obviously, LGB were pause as well, but it sort of feels like enemy just cooled off a tiny bit, and now they're having a hard time getting back into it. AK on Smiths was saved. MBK will buy the uh, casual scout. Oh, we've seen him do really often, and he's had some tremendous results with it uh, from round to round, so maybe this is going to be worth it. Either way, Shocks goes down early on here, and Mystic taking a fight. He's trying to see if he can clear out Kiyoshima in the site. He's now trying to reload. Will actually be allowed to reload and almost get a kill then. Smiths will be the one to pick up a kill. That's Rubino who gets pinned down in mid. So the remaining three members now for Envy trying to close in on this side. NBK going for the wall bank. What? No. That's, that would have been impossible. I thought that he actually tagged Smiths, but uh, <laughs> looked a little close. Smiths gets another kill, takes out PRB. This is definitely looking like just Envy trying to do as much economic damage as they possibly can to LGB. Not allowing them to get out of here, holding on to these rifles. And there it is, Smith's nice little dick out of there. Picks out Mystic, and he could get another one as well, and he will do so. Takes out Polly. So no AWP save here for LGB unless they can manage a master stroke with Jacob. He finds a way out, takes out NBK, so he can make a run for it. But he won't be able to hold on to the expensive sniper rifle. No, he's going to run right into the middle, and stops just short of uh, running into the CT player there. So 8-5. 14th round is coming up now, and LGB, they're just making all of it work. Auto sniper picked up on Shoxy. That's the answer, apparently. Did he go auto, auto sniper with no Kevlar, though? <clears throat> it looks like he did. He may have missed him buying for it. We'll see. I it think he had the money the for replay. it anyway. He should have money for Kevlar as well. No, he didn't. No, he doesn't. He goes straight. Wow. That's 5,300 spent that round. Wow. Okay, Shoxy. I mean, you do tend to take a little bit more damage with the auto sniper. Wow. And, well, getting a shot to the face. AK wouldn't have made any difference, of course, if he had a helmet or not, but that's definitely awkward. Uh, very awkward. Kiyoshima also falling. That's Jacob just on the hunt. He's just so good in the middle right now. He's opening up all these rounds, and Smith's missing a shot. Has to fall back quick as he's already dropped to half HP. Envy are definitely looking shook right now. They, they, they are playing like a team that are... Ah, they've got no heart at all at the moment. They're just fighting without any focus. Yeah, they are. I mean, just slow reactions. That's not what we expect to see out of Shoxi. Happy, once again, will fall. And NBK lurking and Vence gets picked off by Polly. Everybody surviving for LGB. And Envy right now are in the process of getting tombed outright. They do have enough money to get a reasonable buy together here in the last one, considering they've lost a few in a row now. But LGB now, it's going to be a flipped score. They can get up to 10 rounds. Best case scenario, and that's fantastic on your T side. That's way above average. Yeah, they're going to be satisfied already. They can pick up the last round as well. It's only going to get better. Leaving, I think that's Polly outside of the B-bomb site. Just uh, holding on, making sure no one is going to sneak out and sneak up behind them. While the rest of the team is setting up over at main and squeak. But the bombs still drop behind. I mean, LGB, why would they change this recipe? All they've done is sort of go middle, look for a couple of entry frags. And that's worked out just fine for them. Polly here actually wins that fight against Shocks, And he realizes there's someone else close. Tries to fall back as well. And shouldn't be allowed to, but he actually will make it out of there. Though Jacob died, so no entry frag this time. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, Jacob, yeah, exactly. He did go down, though, so it's not all roses. NBK will take out PRB. That's over in A main. So now NBK get a little bit of control there on that side of the map. In the meantime, LGB have taken over mid, so still can go either way here, especially if they're getting picked up in, co in connector like that. That Smith's pinned down now behind the wall. They lose Happy as well. Smith does step out, take one, but two guns were facing him, so Polly will be able to clean him up. Now it's into a two-on-two two here, and LGB, they can just stack up and run out of sight. Yeah, and they do have uh, two smokes and two Molotovs as well. Polly, though, is very low on health, so Rubino might have to come up big for the team if they're going to win this 10th round. Just crossing the 30-second mark. And they are going to head towards the V-bomb site. Kiyoshima in sight with one flashbang to buy a little bit of time. And actually, look at this. MBK is already moving closer. It's a kind of nice teamwork coming out from MB right now. They're realizing they got to be closer to each other if this is going to work out. But Kiyoshima goes down. And they send Rubino in first as well, which is smart play. Not sure if Polly heard the steps there as well. And NBK going to pick up that kill. Does he realize? Yes, he does. But he gets sprayed down through the wall. Polly, the hero. 
comes out ahead, topping the scoreboard for his teammates, not getting the top frag, but still, those two frags that he had this round, high impact kills, the yeah. kill on Shoxy, and the save there at the end. Yeah, definitely, really well played there. Didn't look like that was going to work out. Looked like MBK, I mean, he checked the corner, you know, like he should, and then uh, not a lot of health left on Polly, so that looked like it should have gone horribly wrong for them. 10 to 5, overwhelming performance from LGB on one of Envy's really strong maps here. We're going to be winging into the second half. Frenchman going to have to come up with something really good, but not with the uh, 42,000 starting money. That's a bit much. Mm, 4,200. Oh, 4,200, yeah. That's still too much. A little bit too much. They might be wondering about that. Yeah, there's the pause. We'll just have to uh, have a quick reset here. Reset that money back to eight. That's awkward. <laughs> yeah. You always wonder what would happen if you changed it even just a little bit. Like, what if you made it a thousand or something, you know? Like, how would it change the game? Mm-hmm. But um, not an experiment that we need to run right now. Thousand. That's a full set of nades. You can go, actually, you could go like Tech 9, Smoke Nade, Smoke Flash. Like, you could go some pretty nasty combinations. Yeah, you could come up with something interesting. I, I'm thousand. not saying we should. I'm just, you know. I mean, you could do P250 Kevlar as well. That would be lethal. Actually, every, if everybody could run P250 Kevlar, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, or you could just go for like head armor and USPS if you wanted to. Mm, that's true as well. Like, that would also be kind of brutal. All right, we've got the reset on the money. And if you are just joining us, then this is the third map in the best of three between LGB and Envy. Had a bit of a break, but now we are getting back into it. Molotov on Smith's grenade on NBK, and they are going quite fast towards the speed bomb sign. Are they going to slow down at all? Yeah, they will actually break outside, which is kind of good for them because there's three people holding over here for LGB. They've got a good stack. This grenade, though, is lethal. It almost kills Polly. He's on one health. Oh, God, that's almost unreal, but he is still alive. Getting chased out low. Great grenade, and the headshot from PRB is going to bring it back to a 2v2. That almost spun out of control, and Envy were running away with the round, and then PRB stepped it up. What an explosive round. What an explosive start. I mean, HEs everywhere. There's the smoke used by Smith to try and give himself a little bit of room to work with here. He's currently pinned down. Goes for the decoy. Just to try and draw attention to himself over here. And he spots out the man. Looking for that pre-fire shot. He's not going to get it. Goes for upper. And that's the bomb dropped out in the middle of nowhere. Happy is all by himself at this point. 27 HP. Kevlar. But this actually could be pretty brutal here if he can catch him off. But PRB, they start to realize, wait a second. It's possible that he's wrapped around. He walks right in. He does do the damage, though. Drops PRB very low. Yeah. Gonna go down and find him from the different angle. Very smart play here. But he actually is gonna miss the shot once more. Looked like he could have just taken his time and crouched in to get that kill. I think maybe he's a little bit too excited at the moment. And Mystic will take him out. So PRB and Mystic to clean the round. Double kill for each of them. 11 to 5. And Envy. They were off to a good start in that round. Uh, now it's very scary for Envy. They needed at all costs to win that pistol round to start closing the gap and make this, I mean, a more reasonable comeback because it is going to be a comeback. Their CT side definitely did not end the way they were looking for. Now, six rounds lead for LGB. They've got the guns. Envy, though, we can't count them out just yet. They are the kings of the Tech 9, of course. So the yeah. second round, they're still just very much lethal. It's going to be an aggressive push by Mystic into A main to take out Shoxy. That's going to drop the bomb there as well. And you already have that preemptive rotation coming out here from LGB. They're going to commit to this A site now. Oh, bomb dropped in main, so the game is pretty much up. Mystic rotating back in here, and they're taking a lot of damage on that NB side. NBK Smith's very low on health. Happy, maybe with a chance to land a good running headshot on someone, but he loses both his teammates. That's a quad kill for Mystic before he gets taken out. And Happy will fall as well to Jacob. So doing a bit of ADAing with the P90 there, and we'll even steal an M4 at the end. So 12 to 5, and... Envy's Tech 9 train, not really as effective as it could have been. Not at all. It just got literally picked apart by one man. <laughs> hey, Mystic, again, he takes the lead on the map now for frags, but he again delivers for LGB. This guy, this changed for everybody who was worried, you know, that, you know, with Rain leaving LGB, they lost too much firepower. Mystic is showing that he's perfectly capable of filling those shoes. We'll have to see, of course, on land how that's going to shape up, but online so far, he is looking fantastic. Well, shots going through. Rubino with the long range spray. Polly's going to go ahead and chime in as well. And Polly to pick up both kills there with that MP7 up close. Jacob takes out MBK as well. And it is now just Happy and Kyushima alive. Kyushima with the Tech 9. So he's got something to go with here. At least he's got a little bit of the upgraded firepower. Spots the man in checkered, so. 
He has that to go off of, but it still comes down to whether Happy can pick up that bomb eventually because it's been dropped out in the middle of nowhere. Might as well be in the middle of Africa as far as he's concerned. Yeah, really, really hard to get in here, especially without any kind of armor or grenades or anything. Trying to take the fight with the Glock, not going to work out either. 13 to 5. I don't know. This this comeback is a little bit far-fetched, I feel like. It's not even like anybody on NB is like having a horrible game. Um, obviously, Smiths and Happy are like doing the the main carrying but they're not like running away with it either on the other team mystic just seems to be really good at playing on this map and jacob has had an ungodly amount of openings in the middle from that really interesting boost that he uses up there we kind of look through halfway through the roof uh, the edge of the roof haven't really seen that before so actually that's kind of interesting as well just a bit of a trick being pulled out mystic to open up getting the one kill smith will return and shocks will too and that's a perfect opening. Yeah, that's the brute force approach right there. Polly to take out Happy Howard, so they bring it back to a three on three. And they have superior nades as well here on the CT side. Molotov smokes the whole shebang, and Shox is gonna burn to death. But that's actually going to be trading it up. Smith just barely on the edge, and he's gonna get forced out. He dies in the end, and it's Shoxy alone now. Picks out the men in CT, however, so that's gonna bring it back to a 1v1. And hey, you can't use Shoxy's tricks against him. He, he reads it, he sees where it's coming from, and PRB not going to get anything done. Or rather, that was Polly, yeah. who was just not going to be able to pull that off. Wow. Socks is like, you can't pull a fast one on me. I'm the one who jumps up on CT <laughs> Red, bro. Yeah, that's true. That is something he does a lot. That was uh, Envy almost losing a 3v3 to two Molotov devs. That's really scary as well. Um, not a way you want to go at all. And at the end of it, it's still around where Envy, yes, they win it, but they lose so many rifles. If LGB win now, they pretty take this whole game away from them. Shocks goes down to Rubino, and there's a guy hiding in smoke right down there. Are they even going to realize they won't? Jacob, really smart positional play, takes up the kill and runs into T side main. This is so slick. Happy has found Mystic, however, on that A site, so now that's opened it up, but the bomb is dropped in vents. And unfortunately for Jacob, he's not going to be able to pull that off. Rubino now taking advantage of this smoke in mid to just push forward and catch his MBK, trying to run through that smoke. Last man has been spotted, and Smith just dies in a hail of bullets. 14-6. Wow. Envy are getting slammed. Oh, this is a—I mean, this is complete destruction at this point because their money got reset. They did not get the bomb plant. You can tell they're just buying here. They realize it's kind of all or nothing at this point. 14 to six. LGB, man. Yeah, the real question. I mean, don't think anybody expected it to go this way. No, Envy. not on this map. This is such a struggle. And this feels like one of those cases, perhaps, where Envy... Hmm. It kind of got out of control a bit too fast for him. We'll see here. As already, they're going once again for the straight-up A rush. They had success with it last time. And they continue to do so, although this time it's going LGB's way with two opening kills. Mm. Happy, though, will return. Smith's going to miss a... Uh... And a chance for an orc frack, and Mystic will take him down. So now it's going to be all up to Happy, and he's miles away. Coming up from behind, maybe get a kill, but he can't save the round any longer. It's going to be match and map point for LGB. They are one round now away from finishing first in this group, which I think almost nobody would have predicted giving the uh, the other teams in here. It's flip side, it's Neophyte, it's LGB, and then... And then, and then Envy? This was supposed to be, you know, air quotes, one of the easier groups, right? Where it's kind of clear cut. Yeah, At exactly. least for first seed. So the fact that LGB, they're coming through with the massive upset. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, but... Hmm. They need 12 rounds, 13. I mean, this is out of control, and Jacob yeah, isn't helping. Getting the one, getting the double Mystic to pick off shocks, and this is now a 5v2, 5v1 as well. Jacob with the triple at the end. What a tremendous performance from the Norwegian team here. This is just a... Uh, a complete power play. Maybe Envy are feeling a little bit, uh, I don't know, unfocused at the end of this map here, but still, mm -hmm. um, LGB are actually playing really well. And Mystic and PRB, as far as I know, aren't even like fully signed to the team yet. But you gotta wonder if they should be at this point. And like, you're able to take out Envy in a best of three as well. This isn't even like it's a best of one upset or anything of the sort. This is a best of three through and through, seen to the end, and you are beating Envy on one of their strongest maps. Yeah. 16 to 6. They took them 16 8 on Overpass. They did lose 16 8 on Inferno. Happy goes down, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Mystic again, a top fragging at 25 kills here on Cash. Wow. Impressive, to be honest. I, um, yeah, dumbfounded, actually. My 